Hi, you guys. It has been, I feel so long that we have had a fun story time and we have a super fun holiday coming up. Um, is it take a nap day? That would be a super fun holiday. Or is it run outside in your underwear day? <laughs> that would be really cool because it's winter, huh? We know what holiday is coming up. It's Christmas. And who shows up at Christmas? What do we always think about? Do we think about um, flowers? No. Do we think about mm, eating salad? No! Do we think about pirates? Yes! I mean, kind of, huh? I know. I know we're talking about that crazy Santa Claus, aren't we? But I have two really awesome pirate Santa Claus books today that I think will be super fun that we read. So we are going to get started, my kiddos. The first one is A Pirate's Night Before Christmas, and it is by Philip Yates and illustrated by Sebastian Sarah. Now, something that we don't talk about much is called a publisher. We always talk about the author and we talk about the illustrator, right? The illustrator is the one that drew the pictures. Well, the publisher is the one that puts the book all together, makes sure that it's all written really nice and there's no spelling mistakes and all that fun stuff. So it's important that we take just a quick second and we thank the publisher, which can be found on the copyright page. You probably see that page in your books a lot. Well, that will show us who the publisher is. And we can see right here that it's Sterling Publishing. So with permission from them, we get to read this super fun book. So here we go. <clears throat> Let me get my pirate on. Rawr. <laughs> "'Twas the night before Christmas aboard the Black Stark. Not a creature was stirring, not even a shark. The stockings were stuck to the bow spirit with tar, in hopes that Sir Peggotty soon would be thar. The pirates were snoring like pigs in their beds, while visions of treasures just danced in their heads. And I, with my spyglass, me scruffy old dog, stood watch in the crow's nest for ships in the fog. When out in the mist there rose such a racket, I slid down the mast with me sword to attack it. Away to the poop deck I ran very fast. I threw off the anchor and I shouted, A vast! Straight up from the sea in a foamy white spray flew eight giant seahorses pulling a sleigh. I mean, looking driver, a hoist in one leg will shiver me timbers. It must be Sir Peg. More sluggish than flounders, his courses they came, and he whistled and snarled and called them by name. Ah, now salty, now scurvy, now Sinbad and Molly, on cutthroat, on cross eyes, on Roger and Jolly. To the top of the sail, to the tip of the mast. Now dash away, dash away, dash away fast. And then with a cry and a crack of his whip, down came the sleigh on the deck of our ship. And jolly old sea dog, enormous and fat. And so was the parrot that perched on his hat. He was dressed in all black from his head to his heels, and the clothes were all covered in seaweed and eels. His eye, how it twinkled, his dreadlocks, how twiny. His scars were like crossbones, and his gold tooth was shiny. His mouth was turned up with a nasty old look, a silver gleam sharp on the point of his hook, a scar wa white skull he had hung from his ear, soon gave me to know I had nothing to fear. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his sack and stuffed all the stockings with coins and hard tack. The black stark was soon filled with holiday cheer and loaded with gifts for each good buccaneer. Anchors and horse pins and cracked 
crackle fruit eggs, pearls and red sashes for Bonnie and Meg, a cauldron for Cook filled with pieces of shank, and just for the captain, a shiny new blank. But, oh me, my broken heart, and tears to my eyes, I said to myself, fly me, where is me price? But he hopped in his sleigh to his team, gave a roar. It's time to return to the briny deep floor. Then just when I thought, it's me worst Christmas day, a parchment of paper flew down off the sleigh. And it was the best present I ever got. A map of a treasure. X miss marks the spot. I laughed and I danced and I shouted with glee as up went his sleigh and then down to the sea. But I heard his he exclaim, or he splashed neath a star. Merry Christmas, be buckaroos, and a happy new year. The end. <laughs> I love this book. I think it's pretty funny. Did you guys like it? One thing I wanted to show you too in the back, if you check it out. It tells you all the cool words that we learn, like crow's nest is a platform near the top of the mast where the pirate could have a better view when watching for sails or for land. So you can learn all about pirate ships too in the back. So make sure you check that one out. And I got one more. Cause that one, that pirate was pretty nice, huh? But I'm not sure about this one. This one is called, if you ever want to bring a pirate to meet Santa, don't. <laughs> and this one is by the very own Elise Parsley. And we've read some of her other ones and she is just so great, you guys. I just super duper duper love her books. And let's also remember, we need to thank the illustrator and they have allowed us to read. And again, you can find it, the, the cover page is always somewhere different. Sometimes at the beginning, sometimes at the back. You just, you just never know, but it'll say in there, that this one is by the Hatchet Book Group. So with permission from them, we get to read this book. If your dad says you're going to meet Santa, he means the bearded guy with a red suit and a bag full of treasures. He does not mean that guy. That's a pirate. If you make friends with a pirate anyway, your dad will tell you that pirates are on the naughty list. You'll tell him it's okay and that you'll fix that by the time you meet Santa. You'll teach this pirate not to pillage or plunder or sing loud sea chanties and he won't make anybody walk the plank. Cross your heart. While you wait to meet Santa and Alf will be handing out candy canes, you'll say thank you and nudge the pirate to do the same. He'll say yar and tooth rot. And finally, thank you. <laughs> You'll hope he will give those candies back before you meet Santa. Farther up in the line, you suggest singing to pass the time. The pirate will dive right in with, Oh, a hog a ship, and a hog a crew, and a hog a matey, and a skipper too. You'll have to add a merry hog eye Christmas to you and hope he will learn jingle bells by the time he meets Santa. Now, the longer you and that pirate wait in line, the more tired and bored and hungry you and that pirate will get. Then, what? Ho! Oh, that pirate will pull an egg and cheese sandwich from his bag. It will remind him that tis the season for giving. He will look at you and he'll look at Santa and then pop that sandwich right into the hatch. You will hope you don't starve before you meet Santa. Finally, you will get to the front of that line and meet Santa Claus himself. Things will be going so well. Then the elf behind the camera will ask you to smile nicely and say cheese. Then the elf will tell you no. Smile nicely and say cheese. He will yell, cheese. 
No cheese. Then he'll holler for you to just give me one good smile already. That's what you'll hear Santa whisper. This is why pirates are on the naughty list. And before you know it, Santa will be walking the plank. By now, of course, you'll wish you have walked right past that bearded guy in a red suit with a bag full of treasure who was really a pirate. By now, you'd rather be stuck in a snowbank than here with this pirate. And before you can even get the pirate to apologize, Santa and his elves will just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. March that scallywag to a chair and put him in timeout. Then do not let him move from that seat until he changes his scurvy ways. Ah, uh, never mind. If you want to bring a pirate to meet Santa, after all, pirates are on the naughty list. Don't. <laughs> Look at that mess he made. The end. That's silliness, huh? Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed those two fun books that we read today. Join us again tomorrow for two more fun Christmas stories.